Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I will explore another trading concept. So firstly, I will explain the concept and after that I will move uh, to the IDE and I will create a custom indicator based on this concept there. So uh, we will take a look at the uh, how to how to explain it. I, I will do my best, but <laughs> as you know, I am not very good at explaining the trading concepts, uh, so I will but I will give it my best. So let's, we will explore uh, the ratios between the upper movements and downward movements. So for example, let's take uh, a look at the last 18 candlesticks. Okay, so let's focus on these candlesticks. For each of these candlesticks, we can calculate whether it went up or down. So for example, this candlestick uh, went down around 110 points. This candlestick went also down 21 points. And we can do this for each of the candlesticks. And then we can sum up all of the candlesticks or uh, the movement of all of the candlesticks that went down. And we can also sum up all of the movements of the candlesticks that went up. And then we can calculate uh, the ratio between uh, these two sides. So, for example, if we take a look at these uh, last 18 candlesticks, what we, could uh, we, what we can say is that the ratio after doing this analysis on these candlesticks would be in a favor of uh, the downward candlesticks, okay? So it can be something like 65 to 35% for the downward candlesticks. Uh, for example, at this point, we could say that the ratio, so if we take a look at these candlesticks, so uh, we could say that the ratio would be in a favor uh, of the upper candlesticks because the price goes up, yeah? and. By this approach, we can catch very strong movements in the market. Because if we analyze this on on high enough time frame, so if we, for example, analyze last uh, 1000 candlesticks or something like this, the ratio will be 50-50, basically. Yeah? Because the market on large enough scale, it averages itself out. But if we zoom in and we perform this analysis, for example, on the last 20 candlesticks, then we can catch a huge price movement. And that's what we will do today. So I think that I explained this well. So I hope, <laughs> hope that I did. Anyway, keep, keep watching the video and uh, it will be uh, funny, fun coding today. So let's do it. So I will go to the IDE, I will open my indicators folder, go to the YouTube folder and let's name this, um, how to call it, uh, up, down, ratio, project, something like this. And in the parameters, sorry, I will have two parameters. So the first parameter is the number of candlesticks we want to we want to analyze. So let's say that we want to analyze the last 20. Okay, why doesn't work? Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, analysis candles. Okay, and let's set the initial value to 20 candlesticks. And then also we need to like um, know what the threshold for, for, for the ratio will be. So let's call it the HR and let's set the initial value to 80. So, or 70. 70 means 70%. 70 so if there will be a ratio higher or equal to 70 to 30 percent then we will catch that movement okay so i hope that makes sense and we can finish all of this and let's get to work 
So, yeah, so I'll just delete all of these things in here. Okay. And we can start. So, uh, we don't, we won't be working with any indicators so we won't be creating any handles and we can uh, leave out the on init function uh, yeah so let's move to the on calculate function straight away so uh, we will do our um, our for loop for all of the available data so that's like the uh, st uh, standard procedure so static integer i is equal to an and an analysis candles so this uh, i hope that's clear why so for i i lower than raised total and i plus plus so uh now what we have to do is that here on the local scope we will create two will be it two yeah we will uh create two variables so double uh, and it will be upper movement and lower movement okay and we will set all uh, both of these to zero initially and after that uh, we can use them and work with them so here on this uh, for loop we will create another for loop for this analysis candles so for in integer x is equal to zero x is lower than analysis candles and x plus plus uh, what we will do is that we will basically loop uh, x number of candlesticks based on the analysis candlesticks value to the history and then we will uh, get all of these values i hope that makes sense yeah i hope it does so uh, Okay, so let's create a double variable, double called size is equal to zero, and now we can calculate the size. So size will be equal to um, close, now i uh, minus x, yeah, minus uh, open i minus x. So, now if this number is lower than zero then we know that uh, the candlestick was bearish and if it's higher than zero then it's bullish so upper movement plus equals so size higher than zero size or nothing okay so this should work and then we will do the same thing here, lower than zero. But then we will use absolute value because we don't uh, we don't want to work with negative numbers. So let's do it like this, and uh, j just change this to lower movement. So so I hope that uh, what I did here is clear. Uh, basically, I am checking whether it was up or down candlestick. And then I uh, sum up uh, the the correct values to, uh, with the with the correct variables. Yeah. If, uh, yeah. So that's what I do. And this is basically all that we need to do. Also, here on uh, we need to reassign the values of these variables to zero. So we start over uh, from zero every time so now let's also create a total size is equal to zero and after we finish this for loop we can create this variable total size which will be equal to upper movement plus lower movement and now uh, let's create another double variable called ratio which will equal to zero and now we can calculate the ratio for for example an upper movement so ratio is equal to uh, now it's going to be how it's going to be calculated so uh, yeah so upper movement divided by our, uh, total size times 100 so this should be okay 
and yeah so if ratio is higher or equal to THR then we know that upward movement okay and if ratio is lower or equal than 100 minus THR then we know that the price went down so downward movement and we can create object create we can create a simple arrow to uh, show us uh, that movement let's say so name will be up plus i object arrow up uh, sub window zero time i and low i and you will do the same thing here down object arrow down and high i okay so this should work fine so let's go back here let's find the indicator and let's deploy it on our chart so now how was it called up down ratio okay that makes sense so up, up down ratio is here and let's start with the threshold value of 55 so this should be pretty uh, pretty f uh, frequent yeah and it is so basically ratio of 55 basically happens <laughs> every time yeah so now Oh, okay, I, I also forgot one thing, so on init, object, uh, delete all, 0, minus 1, minus 1. So I want to delete all of the objects uh, on new deployment. So now let's change the threshold to 65 and let's see what happens. So now it's not that uh, often, as you can see. So, for example we get the signal on this candlestick so like this is the first signal that we get yeah then we get the signal on this candlestick so when we analyze the last 20 so this is the this is like the window that we analyze and here we get the signal for sell okay or for uh, you you know what i mean and then we get the same thing for buy opportunity here, sell opportunity right here, okay? So this this works pretty fine. So let's increase this uh, to 75, which should be pretty crazy. So now we can see that we filter out these m m movements even more. So here, okay, but it's not enough for me so let's go to 85 and this should be really crazy because 85 is a lot so yeah so here is our uh, here is our our signal which happened after there was a very very uh, strong push to the upside as you can see here here push to the lower side and this is our signal so this seems nice big push to the upside this is our signal our next signal to the lower side yeah so so i am i am pretty um uh, yeah i am satisfied with with this to be honest because this this works well let's see what happens when we change the analysis candlesticks to something like 100 so now we should we shouldn't see any signals because as i said the uh, the price on higher scale tends to average out and as we can see there are no signals so let's change the thr to something like 65 and let's see if we, if we can catch something so with 65 it still doesn't show any signals because on 100 candlesticks it still does tend to average out so 55 and now we should see something so f so there's like the difference between 65 and 55 so let's try to find that uh, that value so 60 and it seems like value of 60 works pretty pretty well so 
up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, so let's increase this to 62 and let's like see where where's the difference. So it still gives us nice signals and I really like this because uh, the thing is that you can't uh, predict in the markets what will happen. You can you have some percentage that you are working with and this is a this is a concept that basically works because you are uh, analyzing the current mood in the market and this is this is concept that should work yeah because what we are doing here is that we are checking uh yeah the the price behavior so let's change this to 500 and let's change this to 52 percent so on Okay, so this is pretty frequent, so 55%. Okay, so it's it's pretty, yeah. So on 500, over the last 500 candlesticks, the price tends to average out, as, as you can see, because there's only like 5% difference that we are looking for, and it's not that often that we can like spot this difference. So this is the first instance, then nothing here. The second instance, uh, the second instance was here, next here. So on, as I said, on large enough scale, the price tends to average out. So if we uh, choose over the last 1000 candlesticks, we get even less signals. So this is like the only signal that I can see here. Yeah. And this can be this can be uh, used in our favor because if we know that uh, the price over the last 1000 candlesticks tends to average out that there's not a difference of 5%, then we can use this in order to for example uh, we can use this, for example, when uh, trading uh, trend uh, reversal uh, strategies, because if the price deviates for long enough time, but we know that it has to has to average out, then then we can use this uh, this information. Yeah, so this is pretty interesting in my opinion. Uh, of course, what we can do is that we can change this because now we are using close minus open. So let's do high minus low. So double size two is equal to zero. So size two is equal to high i minus x minus low i minus x. So now I have to keep the size as well because this uh, this tells me the kind of the candlestick that I'm working with. So I'll just change this here. So size two and size two. So now if we do this, we will get different signals. Uh, of course, not in this case because, yeah, but in this case we do because now it's not based on the open close but high low and this can make a huge difference so just be aware of this yeah so interesting concept interesting concept uh, anyway this will be all for this video and i thank you very much for your time and for your attention so yeah i will see you in the next video bye